Today we're going to be taking a look at the ANL fuse holder and 350 amp fuse for Bulldog winch off-road winches. This is going to work for 0 to 4 gauge wire. But this fuse holder allows you to have a great option for mounting up your fuse in your truck or Jeep or wherever you have your off-road winch mounted. It's also going to come with that 350 amp fuse to get that connected and make sure that you have the power that you need and also the protection that you need. The 350 amp fuse is going to prevent your bulldog winch from overheating since this is going to connect between your motor and your vehicle's positive battery lead. So if this detects excessive current pull from your winch motor, it's going to stop that flow of power from the, bat from the vehicle's battery and prevent any damage to either. Of course, once that happens, the filament there, the connector blade will separate and that'll indicate that it needs to be changed out since it is blown. The nice thing about this fuse is that it has that little window so you can tell once it's blown and it needs to be replaced. That's also a nice thing about our fuse holder itself is that it is clear so once this is blown inside the fuse holder we'll be able to tell without having to open it up and check it out. You can see it immediately just by looking at it. Now to get that fuse in place You'll just need to unthread one of the ends and then slide one end of the fuse underneath that bolt and washer. Tighten it down using a five millimeter hex key. Now the hex key is not included with this, so you will have to pick one up on your own. The other end just needs to slide in and underneath that other bolt there, then you tighten that one down to make sure that it's secure. It doesn't have to be super like Gorilla Grip tight, you just want it to be snug enough that it's not going to move around, especially as you're going off-road. You don't want to get to where you're going and need to winch out of a situation and not have power because your connection is falling out. Now these little grommets are going to prevent any dirt or debris from getting in there and damaging your connection or causing any intermittent power again. There's the grommet on the end as well as one inside the threads there. So it's just going to provide you a little bit of extra protection from the elements. Now on the inside as well, on that metal portion, we are going to have the set screw to get our wire in place. That also tightens and loosens using that five millimeter hex key. So you see as we run that bolt out, it opens up to allow that wire to slide in there. And then we can tighten that set screw back down and that's going to pinch the wire in place to keep it secure and complete the connection. So when you're installing this, you'll probably want to have that wire run through the end cap before you get that in place on the end of the fuse holder so that you don't have to undo any connections to get that cap back on. Again, this is going to be compatible with 0 to 4 gauge wire. You'll just want to strip back the ends, of course, before you get that in place so that there's no insulation causing any um, interference with your connection. The overall measurement on this fuse holder is going to be about 5 and a half inches, and it's going to be about 1 and a half inch in diameter. The mounting holes are going to be about 2 inches apart center on center. That mounting flange is going to be about two and a half inches in total. The <coughs> mounting holes are going to be about two and a half inches, or two inches, excuse me, uh, apart center on center in both directions. So that's going to do it for our look at the ANL fuse holder and 350 amp fuse for Bulldog Winch off-road winches.